And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some four color gates. This is our first deck to play today on this Saturday stream, this lovely Saturday. Um, yeah, we're kind of throwing it back here to Ravnica Allegiance uh, standard with four color gates. Um, for those of y'all playing back then, uh, you definitely know what this deck is all about. But we're trying to get as much mana as possible. Um, this was the big mana deck of the format for a little while, but then, of course, Field of the Dead was printed, and that became the, the um, big mana deck uh, for a while. And then, plus, this deck also, the other thing about this deck is it kind of could struggle against Planeswalkers. We have four Gates of Blaze, two Deafening Clarion. We have really good sweepers uh, with that, with Gates of Blaze being, um, you know, if you can actually play a whole lot of Gates, which we are doing, um, this is just such an efficient sweeper, being three mana and can basically, you know, basically be Kai's Wrath for three mana instead of four. But as you can see here, we don't really have ways to deal with Planeswalkers. And, of course, after War of the Spark, there was Planeswalkers everywhere. Um, and then even this format, we had Oko everywhere. Um, but right now, we're in a, in a spot in the format where there's honestly not as many Planeswalkers being played. Even, like, the... The most popular control deck is like Fires of Invention control, or it's not really even a control deck because the most popular Fires of Invention decks are the Cavalier uh, versions where they're playing tons of Cavaliers. And so you don't see just like, you know, a, a bunch of Planeswalkers being played right now. There's lots of aggro. Um, it's a pretty fast format. Lots of like aggro and Ember, you know, uh, cheap creatures and Ember Cleave and stuff like that. And so these cheap sweepers with Gates of Blaze and Clarion um, should work pretty well there. And then, of course, we have our ramp with Grow Spiral, Circuitous Route to get us lots and lots of mana. Um, and then with lots of mana, we have Hydroid Crisis, of course, um, just one of the best mana sinks. Um, un the gain life and draw cards is uncounterable, unless you're playing Tails End. Um, but besides that, as far as card advantage goes, of course, we have guild summits. So each gate that enters the battlefield, we draw a card as well. So we can get a ton of cards that way and just kind of grind out our opponents. Um, the gate colossus can keep on coming back. That's a difficult permanent to deal with. Um, against all the aggro decks, we can gain a lot of life with Ar Archway Angel. We even have one expansion explosion um, that we can use if we in the really late game for the explosion to do lots of damage. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what our deck's kind of all about. In the sideboard, we got we can go up the full four, Clarion and Gates of Blaze. Uh, we got Negates for Control and Fires of Invention um, and Wilderness Reclamation. Same with Night of Autumn. Um, Night of Autumn, of course, can destroy uh, Trail of Crumbs, Witch's Oven, Fires of Invention, Wilderness Reclamation, any of those. Ceratops against the Counterspell decks. Niv-Mizzet against Counterspell deck. Um, another, a fourth Archway Angel against... Um, aggro decks, um, an expansion explosion against counter spell decks, uh, because, you know, you can use the expansion to counter their counter, basically, so you can do that, um, unless their counter spells a Dovin's Veto. But then, of course, those games are usually slower, so having a second explosion is really nice. And then if our opponent is playing Planeswalkers, like a slower Planeswalker deck will bring in a couple mass manipulations to try to deal with them that way. All right, so let's... Um, Let's see how this does. So we're going to be uh, playing through a league like we always do with our donation decks. We're going to try to get to five wins. And here we go. <laughs> you've, countered with so, you've countered so many counters with expansions. It's amazing. It is very amazing. Hey, Nabo. This is the first deck you made Mythic with. Nice. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay. Hey, Arcanist. Hmm. Wish we had blue mana. But yeah, I really like gates. I mean, basically our, our hand's good, except for we just need lands. Our deck is playing 27 lands. So I kind of want to keep... That means we have, we're have we on the draw and we have 25 more lands out of the 53 cards. I kind of want to keep this. I think I am. 
It's not too difficult for us to draw lands. Basically half the cards are lands. We need two more for Circuitous Route. Um, if we find a blue, we can play Grow Spiral. We also just need one more. Gates of Blaze should be very good. I think if we draw two lands, we're going to win this. Okay. It's a land. Speaking of lands, looks like my opponent only decided to play one land. All right, let's just clear it up. We'll probably wait and have even a better Gate to Blaze, but um, hopefully we're casting Circuitous Route this next turn. Ugh. So only one land drawn out of our first four draws. Unfortunately. 27 in here. Come on, deck. Alright, well. Oh, well, I still like our chances for the rest of the games. Alright, so we're going to take out Expansion Explosion. I think I want the Knight of Autumns um, because they could be playing either Experimental Frenzy or with all those 1-mana one 1-1s, one they could be playing um, Cavalcade. Even though I don't think it's necessarily real likely they're playing Cavalcade. Hey, Chief Seth, good evening. But yeah, having four Gates of Blaze, four Deafening Clarion, and four Arch Archway Angel, I really like our chances here. Um, Guild Summit... I think is like the other card that we're going to kind of take out here. I think I may be a little slow. And then a Gate Colossus. Maybe just play two Knight of Autumn. You can see basically everything here is good against aggro. I'll just take a Gate Colossus out. This is basically the exact same thing we just had. Oh, come on. How do we get zero lands out of 27? We just can't... We can't get more than two lands? We're playing 27? Uh. So we need both a green and a red source. This is crazy. Now, route's our best card. We can't put that to the bottom. I mean, besides these others, but like, we, we need circuitous route. All right, so they're playing Cavalcade. Unreal. I think this is a really, really fair, favorable matchup for us, but just sometimes magic happens. Sometimes magic happens. All right, we're 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 getting rid of this knight. We didn't have like the best days yesterday either. This this night, we gotta get rid of this night. I think the night's not helping. Let's go with. Time to set the world on fire. We go old school with Jaya Ballard. Did you just call me Scrolly? New school with Domri. All right, Vanifar. Vanifar is from Ravnica Allegiance. That's what we need. We need Ravnica Allegiance. 
help here. All right, hopefully our 27 land deck can actually have more than two lands. Hopefully. Uh, Hunts, I really want to build a Gates deck with Fires of Invention. Is that something you think would be strong in the current metagame? Maybe. Um... I'm not I'm not really sure how good Fires of Invention is in this kind of deck because the whole point of the deck, like with the Circuitous routes and stuff, is to get a whole lot of mana and then you can play, you know, more than two things a turn because you have so much mana. So it's it's basically like if you already have like all your ramp and if you can hit all your land drops and have a lot of ramp and have and have all your cards and everything, then you know, then Fires of Invention can can be even better. But it's like you already have like I could see you just having Fires of Invention and then you don't have, you know, you have like Ramp and Fires of Invention and you don't have any real cards to play. Or you just have, you know, um, a bunch of cards to play in Fires of Invention but not enough lands and, and Ramp and stuff like that. It's like you already need, so you need to be able to like hit land drops, have Ramp, and have big effects. And also like you're, your interaction, like your sweepers and stuff. You need to have like all of these things for your gates deck and fires of invention. It would be great if you already have all of that stuff, but it's just, it's none of those things. So it just makes your deck worse because you're just playing less copies of everything else to play fires of invention. Yeah, I think, yeah, whenever... I think fires made a lot of sense in this deck if, when you played Golos, because then you can just activate Golos with all your mana, and you know you have Field of the Dead that's doing its thing. Deck command is still on Abzan Adventures. All right, what about now? There we go. All right, so the deck command was off. All right, should be good now. All right, so my opponent's playing Jeskai Fires. There's a, a version of Jeskai Fires that plays a bunch of Sphinx of Foresights. This would be a great time to have Gates of Blaze, not Deafening Clarion. Oh, yes, that is supposed to be next Saturday, Kitty Dexterity, yes. This isn't a fight you can win. Huh. Then we just to draw more cards? I've got it. Cool. I guess I wait a turn. And play both of these things. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. <laughs> yeah. We found all the lands from the last match that we couldn't find before. Yep. 
Found him. Who day? Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for the resub for 35 months. Thank you so much there, Tyler. Happy Thanksgiving. So I have six of these right now. This will do six damage. Do we think my opponent is going to kill me? It's possible. Is it possible? Could be possible. I should probably just give my creatures lifelink. Also. All right, the, the ram has vigilance anyway, so it can block. But oh well, we'll just we'll just give him lifelink. Hey, what's up, Adam? Thank you so much for that resub as well. All right, we're going bigger than the fires deck. Usually, the fires deck plays like huge creatures. We're going even bigger. All right, so Nagate is a good counter spell for specifically fires. But doesn't necessarily, but you know, like besides fires, they just have like a whole bunch of creatures. The other thing about their deck, of course, is the three mana to fairy. <laughs> that's no ram, that's the goat. Um, let's take out Archway Angel, bring in Knight of Autumn. I kind of want to play Negate, but then again, yeah, but they, if they just like play to fairy and then I don't get to negate anything. Clarion's basically just for like that lifelink that we just had, because it's not killing their creatures. But that lifelink can be pretty vital. We could use manipulation for a bunch of big creatures. We'll play that instead of expansion. Hmm. Hey, Blue Gen. All right, I'm going to fit in two negates. I'm going to take out one of the two Clarions. We still have one for the lifelink, but we don't really want to draw a second Clarion. And then I'll take out one Guild Summit, because as we saw it, they're that game. It, it's basically going to be like heavy hitters back in, you know, like the games we lose, they're probably going to have just like a bunch of haste creatures and maybe Guild Summit will be a little slow. We'll, we'll kind of see. Thanks, Blue Gen. Eight months now. Thank you so much. Bunch of resubs today and so many people getting hype boats in the chat. That is awesome. Wonderful Saturday so far. Not really just so far. It's just a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. They're just putting all three on top? Wow. Must be nice. So yeah, I could have played Plaza of Harmony Guild Summit, but then I only have three gates next turn. And I think I need four gates next turn. Because I thought I would need four gates next turn because I thought it was very likely they were just going to play that. Um, 
that Sphinx of Foresight. And so I wanted to be able to kill that Sphinx of Foresight the next turn. Um, yeah, your bant your bant to fairy legends CW. I saw your message yesterday, um, and yeah, saved your saved your deck from from yesterday. Um, I don't I don't know the next time that I'll be playing, uh, Sisse with yeah with Naya Legends. I, I'm sure I will, but I, I just don't know when. Um, I've played a Sultai Adventures deck, Arch Dust Bunny. It wasn't just Simic, it was Sultai. Okay, yeah, from earlier today I didn't see it. Of course, I want to, I want to wait as, as late as possible for this Plaza of Harmony because I just want to play the Is It Gilgate. I don't want to risk dying, though. They have removal for Gatebreaker Ram and then, like, a Haste Creature. I think we should probably just gain the three life right now. Um, if you want the Sultai Adventures list that I played... I designed it for best of one. There's the video. Two lands in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I play Krasis, Krasis for six, gain three life. That doesn't seem so bad. Let's draw another card first. Or I could Circuitous Route and a Gatebreaker Ram. I think we need to have a blocker for a flyer. Like if they have Blue Cavalier or if they have like the Flying 4-4. Four four. lethal with Cavalier pumping. Maybe I'm supposed to just play Archway Angel. I feel pretty good about being on the, the play now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess I could have just done X. Yeah, I guess I could have just done X's three and then played a ram. And that would have kept me alive. If I would have done that. Because they needed... I mean, they needed a removal spell and a... Or just two ver or two large threats and a red cavalier, like... So they had to have red cavalier to be able to pump. Unfortunately, they did. Come on, land, untap land. Darn. Oh, come on. Maybe we need 28 lands. Yay. Okay, so I need more green. Let's get green red. So we got tons of red already. Oh well, I don't really need more white. No, no, they didn't play fires on turn four. They they didn't play it till like turn six or seven, something like that. Yeah, we just go way over the... Yeah, we just go way over the Cat Oven decks. I wish I could save Gates of Blaze, but I just can't. So the real question is, do I play Guild Summit and draw one card, or do I play Circuitous Route and get two more mana out? I think I Circuitous Route. Oh, well, you're saying Route? Yeah. Route's important. And we'll get another White Source in here. Maybe I should have gotten up. Maybe I should have got fourth blue. Well, at least they didn't tap very well. Draws me four cards. I could have just played the guild summon and drawn six cards. But this obviously gives me a really good blocker though too. Yeah, that's that's the thing about this matchup. We don't really have many turns to take a to take a breath and just play summon. Maybe I should have played the other Archway Angels instead of the Guild Summons. Because yeah, like the the whole point of their deck is don't worry, I got this. to be able to do this kind of stuff and just play big things with haste. Oh, they're not playing with haste here, so they. Looks like they have counter magic in hand. The only reason to do that is to have counter magic.
Hey, Escoria. Uh, no, I, I just built the Chandra tribal deck off of stream. I didn't, I didn't do that on stream. But of course, I'll be talking about the deck whenever we play it. So they definitely have counter magic. Unclear exactly what they're saving their counter magic for. Want a gates ablaze here? They can't. They can't one shot me with cavalier. Definitely not attack first. That 8 damage doesn't really matter. If if the Gates of Blaze doesn't resolve, I need the blocker. So I know it would kill my Krasis. But I'm not going to be attacking first. It's just either play this or just play Growth Spiral. And wait a turn. Then mystical dispute. No, I don't play any chases. Here we go. All right, this looks looks good for us. Be able to Clarion here, gain 22 life. Should put this out of reach. Um, 
I don't even need to do three damage to each creature. No, it's not lethal, because I have, you know, 22 trample, they're at 18. By attacking Teferi, it means they didn't need to block these. That's okay. Oh, that's true. If I would, yeah, if I would have Clarion three damage, we would have got rid of six toughness. Because yeah, you'd only have to do trample two. So twenty-two plus. Hmm. Well, yeah, they, they had two mana for Kenrith, so they couldn't. Actually, I guess it was exactly lethal, wasn't it? Because yeah, I guess I didn't. I didn't consider the the Clarion removing um, six damage that we would need to trample over. Hey, Rackle Guru. I just didn't really think about the Clarion with the toughness there. And yeah, they didn't have three mana to gain life with Kenrith. Alright, so 101. So that's what our deck's supposed to be doing. We had lots of mana. We had Circuitous Routes. It was good. Um, looks like we're getting a wild card. A mythic wild card. That's a good wild card. <laughs> yeah, smacking them with gates. Giovanni, I'm doing great. Doing great. If y'all are having a good Saturday. Ooh, triple ram. I guess we know our game plan here. We're just gonna... Cram some attackers. Hey, what's up, Heaton? Got an another resub today. Thank you so much there, Heaton. Our seventh sub of the day. Are going to turn two Oko? Ooh, we got lucky not turn two Oko. <laughs> he must gate stuck with Lich's Mastery. Yeah, Lich's Mastery is a fun card. Alright, so you open another vault today. I opened another vault today. Oh, right, right, the, the vault. Right, right. You were talking about how some Abzan troll deck the other day. Any news on it? That would be a perfect deck to spend my wild cards on. No, so that was an Orzhov troll deck. Orzhov troll deck. I don't have. I, I don't have an Abzan troll deck. Um, um, the. I what? I do think like that. That the Orzhov troll deck could maybe turn into Abzan, um, with all the the different knights in, in Abzan colors. So they can sack the geese. All right, I have GG. I have one, one blue, one U. We'll get another U. Obviously, I, I need a dub. I need some white. And then after that, where I got double red. Let's get this other Simenko game. Yeah, I was saying that maybe combining the. Orzov, yeah, the Orzov Troll Knights make it just kind of like Orzov Knights and, and the Selesnya Knights and just having an app going Abzan Knights. Uh, 
that yeah. So I was thinking like an, an Abzan Night deck. Not wouldn't it be. I don't think it would have troll. Mm. I guess I save Clarion. Because I can, I can gain a lot more life with Clarion later. Yeah, we're going to play Abzan Wolves again tomorrow. Um, yeah, there's a lot of standard decks I want to be playing right now. That I want to try out. That, we, that we've been playing in the last couple of weeks. That haven't gotten to play again since the, since the bannings. They seem like they'd be fun to play, and so yeah, Orzov or uh, Abzan Wolves. We're gonna be doing getting back to that one. Um, Mono black discard. Um, I also want to play some some Simic Flash. Honestly, like I'm not playing against anybody who's playing Simic Flash, and there's all these Fires of Invention decks everywhere, and Simic Flash should have a very good Fires matchup. But it's just Fires of Invention everywhere. Hmm. Are they just mono green? Because yeah, if they're just mono green. That's probably feasting troll king. Oh no no they they played duh, they played black they played midnight reaper. So are they are they jund with like mayhem devil? Like is this jund sacrifice that just had? Because I know they mulligan to five. So like they they had a poor hand after mulliganing to five. Hey, Rochian, yeah, I'm feeling good today. Hmm. I think I'll still stay at three archway angel. I think that'll be okay. <laughs> I'm from Germany. We have a historical responsibility to never play Simic again. I mean, it, it could be just Golgari. I, I would think if you're playing Golgari with these cards, you should probably be playing Jund. Because Corvold and Mayhem Devil are awesome. I guess we'll see. All right, I'm keeping another land light hand. Seeing if we draw some of our 27 lands. There we go, that's a start. Um, yeah, I don't... No, I haven't really built a, a Selesnia Value Town deck in uh, standard. I mean, the closest would be, like, the Selesnia Knights. Um, that deck can get going with... Uh, the help of um, uh, what's the name of the card? The great, the great henge. Yeah, the great henge. So that um, the great henge is basically the the standard value town card, and so the Selesnia Knights deck that I have takes full advantage of the great henge. Yeah, so it looks like this is just Golgari mid-range, so we'll probably have to re reassess our sideboard situation. That's okay, we can do that.
So the games that we've lost, it's because our 27 land deck can't hit it land drops. Like, even if I gain four life with this thing, and it's just not a good spot. Alright, I'm going to bring back in the Shimmer Possibility as like a, a card that can maybe get a land for us. It does kind of seem like maybe we just need 28 lands and not play the Shimmer Possibility. Maybe we should just have 28 lands. Um, and then I'll bring in the, get this fourth Clarion in here. It looks like they're really relying on mana creatures, you know, a whole, you know, we've seen just Tons and tons of mana creatures so far. This does feel like a 28 land deck, so we should be having. Alright, we got lands. There's Trailer Crumbs. That's the card I wanted Night of Autumn, but I just took out Night of Autumn now. Guess we'll just have to get some attacks in. Gatebreaker Ram, pretty good against Cauldron Familiar. Trample, and very big. Exactly what you want. Very big and trample. And of course, Gate Colossus cannot be blocked by creatures with power two or less, so they can't even block it. So Calder Familiar is really good at chump blocking. Our deck makes that not really a possibility. Well, <laughs> he said they took that, and what else are they supposed to do? I mean, if they block, they just they save one life by blocking because my creatures have trample. So it's, it's not like they have blocks that could, could do anything. <laughs> Colossus versus Cat. Yeah, that, that is a very good part about our deck is we our, our creatures just don't care about Cauldron Familiar and just go way over it. Lands. If you have lands, you keep. We'll figure out the rest later. Yeah, Ram's been super impressive for us. Vigilant Trample. It's a good combo.
<laughs> this is a very colorful hand. Uh, do you think a dino deck with Embercleave and Great Henge would wreck Historic? Oh, there's still a lot of turn two Okos in Historic. So as far as dinos are concerned, and Embercleave, Great Henge, stuff like that. So basically, Clarion's just not valuable enough right now. Definitely kind of considering not playing Grow Spiral and then next turn going like Grow Spiral plus Expansion to copy it. Definitely want to get want to keep on ramping. You know, try to get a large Archway Angel. All right, now we'll just play this now because we're we're gonna have to Clarion. Good, I like them getting rid of claim the first boar, and I was thinking about that card. Because um because uh, Ram, because they can just take Gatebreaker Ram. No, I've not played Scape Shift Historic, and I don't ever plan on doing that unless somebody donates for it. That's not a deck that I necessarily would want to play. It's probably a tier one deck. Um, but, like, you know, like Kethis Combo, Scape Shift. Nexus. Those aren't those aren't decks that I enjoy playing necessarily. All right, do we go Angel or Crisis? I guess we we really do have to worry about claim the firstborn with Crisis too. I'm glad they've discarded two of them so far. Well, like, Angel just gets better over, like, you know, just gains more and more life if we wait on Angel. I kind of want to do Krasis for four instead of five in case they have another claim. Give them one less. We still draw our two cards and gain our two life. Man, so smart. 
definitely thought about Gate Colossus costing one mana. Definitely. Something I definitely considered. Definitely counted it out. I was like, we were going to draw one of our two Gate Colossus. It's going to cost one mana. Yep. Definitely calculated, for sure. <laughs> so yeah, claim the firstborn CM CMC 3 or less. Krasis has CMC of 2 while it's on the battlefield. So we make a, a very large Krasis. They can steal it and attack us for a bunch and then sack it. I don't really know why we got Boros Skillgate available, but whatevs. So basically, just made the ex expansion there a draw four. Well, that's those are good cards to to draw. This looks like this is going to be pretty good for us. I don't think they can do 18 damage to me here. We'll see, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 13 total mana. Um, I could just go Angel, Angel. I could go Route, Angel, and have the other Angel for the next turn. If I go Route Angel, we have three mana left. So yeah, I don't I don't think I need to play this island. Three mana is a good amount of mana to have in our deck. So many cards that cost to three. So, I mean, right now we have 12. This is going to gain, you know, 12 times 2 is 24. Our land drop is 26. If we play this, it's 30. I, I really think we just Circuitous Route Angel. I think just the more mana, the better. I don't think we need to gain 26 plus 26. I think we can just gain 30, and then the next turn gain even more. Pretty sure 30 life will be able to stay alive just fine. Considering they didn't even attack. Hmm. What am I drawing a Clarion or a Gate to Blaze? Though. Okay. Okay. Well, those are good. Attack! There's the gates of blaze, so we can go. We can go a blaze, and then archway angel gain thirty. They're trying to tap all my white mana. They're just trying to. Back up to 46.
There we go. Thanks, Janini. All right, let's get this other angel in here. A couple more clarions. Um, some Knight of Autumns. We'll take out a Shimmer to a Guild Summit. Um, yeah, I guess I guess Ram and Krasis aren't as good if they keep in Claim the Firstborn. If they steal the ram, you know, it's only it only turns into a 2-2 two because -two they're not going to, like, unless they're playing gates. It doesn't count, like, my gates over there. So it's not, like, so, like, ram doesn't hurt us very much. Yeah, I've been impressive with this deck so far. This, this seems like a pretty good metagame deck right now. I'm liking it. Do I take out Krasis? Seems kind of weird to take out Krasis. All right, two Krasis gone. It's possible I should just take out all four Krasis and keep the other guild summits in for my big card advantage thing. Just play the guild summits for that. Should probably do that. You can do that. You said you can do Mirror March Elementals in Historic right now with Risen Reef and Omnath. You can do that in Standard, right? Yeah, Mirror March is legal in Standard. So yeah, you can just do that. Yeah, you can do that in Standard. Yeah, basically all of these matchups, even our loss, like that, that was, you know, we lost to Mono Red, which I think is a really good matchup for us, but we just, we drew, drew really, really bad in our two games without hitting lands. Like, this is our fourth match now, and all of these matches feel like we're very favored. Simic Self Mill Adventures with Hedge and Mirror. Hedge and Mirror. I've, I have not seen... I've not seen a Simic Self Mill Adventure with Henge and Mirror deck before, so I don't really have any thoughts on it. Oh, you play Golgari Sacrifice with Mirror March with a whole bunch of Ayaras? Ayara is a legendary, though. That doesn't work too well with Mirror March, right? And Jeannie says, Mir Mirror March is just so bad. The number of times I've played a six drop only to get tails for two turns and get one copy. Just better play an actual six drop. But yeah, you don't get yeah, you don't get the stories with that though. And play you don't get the, the great stories. Um hmm. Oh, is it Gateway Plaza? Yeah, we can keep this. Yeah, Gateway Plaza is awesome. I was thinking this was Plaza of Harmony. This one's a five-color gate, so we can actually play these. So you know, we'll play the Azorius Guild Gate first. Play this on turn two. This is just a really good turn two gate in this deck. So all the triggers going on the stack, and so they all see each other. So like all five Ayaras will see each other. So you get the 25 triggers. That's a lot of triggers. Um, yeah, I wish this was I wish this was uh, the blue enchantment instead. 
So obviously I could drop Gatebreaker Ram, but that's probably not a smart idea against Priest of Forgotten God, so we probably want a Clarion, but we don't really need a Clarion this turn. I feel like we can get a better Clarion if we wait a turn. So I guess that means we're just going to go Growth Spiral. Crease is not looking good. So elves in historic is pretty broken. That's the thing about historic. Everything's broken. It's a it's a very powerful format. A lot of good stuff to be doing. When your format starts with turn two Oko and goes from there. You got a really powerful format. Seem like the only times we come close to losing are whenever we can't draw lands. My opponent's stuck on two lands though, so like I I can't really be complaining over here. Perfect. Now they can sack their two creatures to kill both of my creatures. Kind of surprised they didn't just do that on their turn, though, and get that extra two black mana they could use on their turn. Whether it's, you know, picking up gutter bones, playing something else. Playing 27 lands. go if we lose this game I will be taking out the other two crazies getting the other two um, I'll be getting the other two um, blue enchantments back in here. Those would have been much, much better than Graces. I've learned 
a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Don't worry. I brought company. We'll see if we draw a gate, so we can gain another two life with Angel if we do. Nope. All right, reset. Down to wood. Back up to thirteen. Hopefully they don't have Triscodecophobia. Don't worry. I brought company. Hmm. Guess we're getting rid of a ram. Probably have good enough computer performance anyway. We don't need all this ram. I mean, that's pretty close to a zero mana 8-8. Eight, eight. It's a one mana card right now. But... If I, if I don't take it, if, if we draw an untapped land, we could Circuitous Route plus Angel next turn. Um... Otherwise, we'll probably go Clarion Angel. Yeah, they can flash back Rampage here, though. Hopefully, that extra life helps us out. We're playing all four angels, so there is still another angel left in the deck. Oh, they just had another one too, they didn't even need to flash it back. Hey, these little guys are great. Alright, so we'll probably just go Clarion Angel. I could go Clarion Ram Ram and play this land if I think I can survive from 10. Or from 9. Uh, I may not be able to. Really, a Fable Passage? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can put me down to three here. 
All right, looks like we got to go Clarion Angel. Yeah, we have four Gates of Blaze also for another for another Wrath. So we haven't seen any of those. There's one more Clarion and four more Gates of Blaze as far as more Wraths. Dang, they don't have much time left. No, Almond Cop. No, Almond Cat is not in historic. My opponent was saying Robinop Ruins is back because they just used their land to do damage to me. Or that's sorry, that's what Karaki was talking about. Robinop Ruins being back. The land was doing me damage. All right, we're back up to twenty. Next turn, we're just going to be able to unload our hand. We can play Ram, Ram, Colossus, and Route. Fire with fire. Yep, sack land ping. So yeah, Fable Passage is basically just Ramanop Ruins. All right, so these are some 13-13 Vigilant Tramples. They, they can get rid of one of my creatures by, you know, Chandra minus two flashback. Um, the Rampage. They can either make me sack an artifact or sack a creature. Either way, we sack the Gate Colossus. God Eternal Bantu. Don't think that's going to save you. Nope. That's lethal. All right, three and one. All right, we're going to go ahead and reset. 
it's getting choppy. It's been up for an hour, 20 minutes. So let's, let's reset. Um, so I am going to be getting a new computer. I decided, um, I'm talking to a friend about it. So I found like all the parts I'm going to get. They're going to talk me through building it. Um, I did decide I, I am going to be waiting a week though before I purchase it for the Black Friday Cyber Monday sales. But then, yeah, I'll plan on getting a new computer. Hopefully, all the lag issues will be gone in about you know ten days or so, whenever it comes in, and then I build it. All kind of stuff. Maybe two weeks. That'll be glorious. What's up, Triton? No, it's it's not. It hasn't really gotten better for me since the update. I think I think it's just my my computer is not good enough anymore. My computer was built for streaming Magic Online, and now streaming plus recording Arena. Really, the recording with Arena. It's just not good enough anymore. Oh yeah, I I don't know at all how to build it. Hey Ren4, thank you so much. Loving this Gates deck, and I have to give it a try when I can. Thank you so much, there Ren4. Cheers. Yeah, this Gates deck is awesome. It look it just seems really powerful. And Jarek getting the hype boats in there too. Oh my hype boats just went away. Hey Rex. That's sub number eight. Yes. All right, let's update that. What's my opponent doing over here besides nothing? Oh. They're actually doing a lot of stuff. That looks like a counterspell deck. Uh, I would love to resolve Guild Summit. I'm not very confident that Guild Summit's going to be resolving here, though. But I really want to play Guild Summit. Yeah, this looks like this looks like Teamer Reclamation. Ugh. Now, yeah, Team of Reclamation plays a lot of counters. Unfortunately, we've drawn three of our very worst cards. With Gates of Blaze, Gates of Blaze, Clarion. Alright, so we can pay we can pay for a mystical dispute. It resolved! Let's go. Let's go. Basically, I was thinking it's not going to get better for us. So this is why we have the Niv... This matchup is why we have the Niv-Mizzet in the sideboard. Stop. Ooh, okay. Nothing really to do with that mana there. Resolve. Uh oh. What? Oh, do they just not have more? Oh, they, they probably just don't have more basic mountains. That would make sense. Because they can only get basics or gates. Right. I was expecting them to to get red sources for for Niv Mizzet.
But still, so they, they just expansion copied that. Wouldn't it, like, last turn, wouldn't it have been better just to cast Explosion last turn? Because they wasted a bunch of mana. Yeah, they had, like, 12 mana they could have used. They could have just done this for a bunch. But, I mean, I guess, like, so they're just going to have lethal now. They just have another Explosion. All right. GG. Okay. So let's take out all these cards that we had in our hand. Bring in all these, bring in these, this, that, <clears throat> those. Um, Angel can. Angel's not great, but I guess trying to gain as much life as possible keeps us alive from expansion explosions. Whatever, it can go. All right, here we go. Yeah, they had two red mana because they, they were going to be untapping all their lands. They had one red land and they had double wilderness reclamations. So they're going to be they untapped all their lands twice. So, yeah, they had enough. They had enough red. They were fine. All right, we're not mulliganing a bunch of lands. Our deck needs to hit land drops. You'd put in mass manipulation to steal their Niv Mizzet. I'm more worried about this expansion explosion, but. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe Niv Mizzet's gonna kill me. Go get him, Gay Colossus. Get him. Oh, come on. They can't just have the perfect card every time. <sighs> or I guess they can. <laughs> I guess they can. Uh... That was just literally the best thing they could have there. So I'm sure they're playing like negates. Other things. Stop. Yep. That's what I was expecting was negate on the turn four. That's why I played the Colossus to, to not get negated, but they just had the bounce. I now they have Narset to shut down Krasis. They have literally the best thing they could have the whole time. Uh. Yep, it's the best card in their deck. Why not? Well, can we get a couple 8-8s to finish the game off? Nope. So my opponent had double untap, and they just didn't do anything with like that second untap, where they, they should have just untapped and cast that Chemistry's Insight during end step. Still. Like, they just wasted seven mana last turn, or they could have cast that Chemistry's Insight and drawn two, and then reevaluated. See what I mean here? Like they they just didn't even use like that two mana. They just got to untap. Like why? I don't know. Guess when you have everything anyway, it doesn't doesn't matter. You get to just waste mana. 
when you have infinite mana, which is what two reclamations are. This was a perfect hand. How much we could do. So I, did, I need to just put the pressure on them. I, I can't worry about trying to draw these cards. We're obviously not winning a late game whatsoever. I need to just try to win this, this very next turn. So obviously, they're going to win the late game. Because of that wasted two mana, they didn't get to counter, they didn't counter my crisis. Yeah, Rex, if you have a return return envelope stamped. No, I mean they're not they're not gonna mill. I don't think that's possible. Yeah, all, all they have to do is just find one expansion explosion. And because of even more free mana, they'll be able to kill us. Yeah, one explosion is still lethal. That's not lethal. Well, opponent messed it up. They told me to draw, because I guess they were scared of milling. But they would not have milled out. And if since I draw... Since I draw, then they don't get all the Niv triggers to do the rest of the damage to me. And then we had lethal on the way back. And of course we mold a 5.
My opponent had the the best the best uh teamer reclamation hand I've ever seen in, in draws for like the first like six turns. I never yeah, like that's like the best they could ever have and They messed it up though. So we got another game. Looks like no no land drops. They had, no, they had sixteen cards in library. They would not have decked themselves if they would have drawn. So, so even though they counter that. By doing that, they don't get to just cast Chemistry's Insight. Mm, they still had Growth Spiral. Gross. The focus and display thoughtfulness before action. So we can like expansion chemistry's inside also to to if they chemistry's inside on my turn again. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. You're about to. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. All right, well, we're trying to trying to get this done with these huge creatures, these gate colossuses. Gatebreaker Ram did a good job. It's a lot of shocking over there. Play Grow Spiral, play Grow Spiral. Darn. Of course, we want them to tap out.
All right, so they're they're gonna have to deal with both of these at instant speed. Which isn't the easiest thing to do. We should not have won that second game, but opponent gave it to us. All right, four and one. Ugh. Four and one. All right, time for the final boss. We probably should have lost that one, but we definitely should have won the game that we lost. That was such a good matchup. So it evens out. GG's. All right, final boss time. Let's get our final boss playlist. Here we go. Uh, yes, Root Snare is still around. Yes. So yeah, if my opponent would have had Mystical Dispute to counter my Expansion Explosion and Root Snare with the three mana, they could have stayed alive with those two cards. Gilded Goose. At least it's going to be turn 3 Oko, not turn 2 Oko. Ooh, no Oko. It doesn't even seem like that card's been banned because it's only been banned a couple of days and get into playing Historic and you just see it all over the place there in Historic and it's just like, was this card ever banned? What is what is life? Please don't play Cavalier of Thorns. Just, just don't play it anything. Just play mana creatures. Two Paradise Druids. Coming on up. <laughs> Back in my day, we always had Oko on turn two. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, that's not as bad as Cavalier Thorns. It's like we just get like a sweeper that's a three for one and my opponent still has just more cards in hand than we do. <laughs> Because they actually drew three cards off of these two cards. Oh, 
Um. All right, let's dig for more sweepers. My favorite historic deck that we played, yeah, two days ago on um, Thursday, we played seven different historic decks, all, all with the new cards. Um, my favorite one was the Abzan Legends with Captain Sisse. It wasn't the best one. That was my favorite one. The best one is the is Gruel Aggro with Burning Tree Emissary. Yeah, you do have Immortal Sun, again, in Historic. So you can shut down Oko with that. Sure, they'll play their Oko on turn two. You'll play your Immortal Sun on turn six. They'll activate it a couple of times, but it's probably not enough to do any good. Immortal Sun probably is a, a good quality answer to it there. I got six mana right now. All right, looking for a Gates of Blaze. See the deck list? Yeah, exclamation point deck. There's a, that's a good way to see a deck list right there. This game is probably not any ending anytime soon. We have a ton of card advantage over on our side. It looks like they probably have a ton of card advantage over on their side. Both have a whole lot of mana. Uh, this does not look to be ending anytime soon. Um, no, we're, our deck is not very good against mass manipulation. Well, that's obviously the card I wanted. They can put something back on top. Their best thing is Hydroid Crisis. I can either draw two with Guild Summit here, or draw zero and play Shimmer Possibility. It's probably better to draw two. So it's not a May. Maybe I shouldn't even be playing the third Guild Summit. I think that's going to just get through my library too much. I 
Yeah, as long as as long as they don't have like mass manipulation, as long as they don't have ways to steal my gatebreaker rams, like we'll win. Like that's the way my opponent wins. If they play mass manipulation, agent, and treachery, they can win. If they don't, we're gonna win. That's there's not really too much else with this game right now. Nothing else really matters on their side. It's like cool. It's an eight eight. Doesn't matter. They have to have agent treachery and mass manipulation. my only gate in hand. I guess we'll keep it. Oh, I have two. Yeah, I have two gates. Okay, never mind. We'll discard one. All right, do they have manipulation? Hopefully not. They do, that's rude. I hope they don't have a second one. Because if they have a second one, I'm going to struggle killing them. So I said that's what they said that's what the game's all about. Yeah, I have been playing pretty all in. And that's why I play two. So that Agent and Treachery doesn't beat us. Needed specifically mass manipulation. Oh wait, cause that. Oh no, they. Mm, they copy it, right? Quasi duplicate counters copies it. Huh. Well, I I forgot about the quasi duplicate part, cause I was thinking I, I did think about that whenever I played the two. I didn't want to 
I want to be able to kill them even through Agent of Treachery, but I forgot about Quasi-Duplicate. All right. No, we've not played Explosion yet. So there's still there's still explosion somewhere. And there's there's one more gate colossus and an explosion somewhere. Uh, they still have a lot. Oh, I guess so they're they're at 24. I'm at 16. All right, because the Cavaliers milled them out quite a bit. So they're going to do Krasis for 12. I oh, know Voracious Hydra for 12. That's scarier. So we'll see if we find Explosion. Like, Explosion should be coming up also because we didn't see Explosion in the Shimmer possibility, so it's not one of the bottom cards. So there's not very many cards for it. So it was, I guess it's one of the next nine. There's not very many cards left for it to be. If I play this, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have enough for Explosion anyway. It's not like they're going to have discard. So yeah, that's that's the card we need. That expansion explosion. So I grab both these. I draw six. What do I have? I have 12 over here. Hey, Storm. Good evening. There it is. Chipper 56 with the sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much there. All right, our ninth sub of the day. Hey, Siege Lord. Yeah, we'll see if they can do 65 damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This land is fifteen. Perfect. Okay. And of course, we make them draw the 15. We don't want to draw the 15.
All right, so I'm gonna res I'm gonna refresh my uh, Twitch chat. So I'm not gonna be in the Twitch chat here for just a second while I refresh it because my hype boats went away. All right, so we probably want to have mass manipulation here. I don't know. I'm definitely worried about their mass manipulations. So we could play a bunch of negates. This thing's pro blue. So they can't steal it, but it's probably going to die to my gates ablaze. Uh, oh, I'm back. No carbon required. All right, so that's the first thing I saw. All right, so I'm back. Yeah, but this 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 isn't any good against um, their five six. Am I supposed to be playing Niv Mizzet? I don't know. Or mass manipulation. Oh, this is 62? Crap. No, I don't want Shifting Ceratops against um, the Cavalier of Thorns deck. So I don't want that. All right, Guild Summit, do some stuff. Hey, Andrew, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Yeah, the, the problem with Ceratops is, sure, it's good against the Yoink spells, but it's going to just get... It's just going to get swept up by my Gates Ablaze. Thanks, Depot 4. And it doesn't get through their blockers, like I said, with um, Cavalier of Thorns or Hydroid Crisis. I guess it gets through Hydroid Crisis. It doesn't get through Cavalier of Thorns. Oh, that's sub number 10? I need to write that down. All right, another sub goal towards the next 12-hour stream. 910. That's a lot. Hey, Kitty Dexterity. All right, what do they got over there? Nothing? Uh-oh. Hmm. All right, I need to hold up negate. I did not really. Um, thanks, Hell. I did not really think about Nissa. Uh, I because I could have held up negate and grow spiral here. Definitely thought about that, but I was like, oh, there's probably not any spell they're going to be playing. Right, Nissa. Forgot about that one. Um, it's going to make my life more difficult. Um,
All right, so next turn I'll have Gates of Blaze with Negate Backup. I'll play the pl Plaza of Harmony to make sure to have Negate Backup. Which means Gates of Blaze will only be doing three damage. But three sounds like enough damage for, at least it looks like enough damage right now. Hey Aspen, we're doing great. We're doing great. We are um, currently uh, four and one. We're looking bad this game, but we are up a game. So even if we lose it, we got a game three. And it was basically because I played this first guild summit instead of holding up negate. And then my opponent decided to shake the world, and I was not holding on to any anything. I was not ready for it. We are like an object on a countertop getting pushed over by a cat. When my opponent shut the world, we just went flying. Well, I guess I have to, I guess I can't hold up a counter magic. I guess I have to play a fourth gate now because if I hold up counter magic, then we only kill these things. They can still attack for nine next turn, so we have to do it this way. Huh. They didn't even just, like, sacrifice their Bronzedon to kill a guild summit in response? They're like, no, nah, we're good. Okay. Oh yeah, I could I could have spiraled and dropped Plaza and then ablazed for four. True. So if they if they ultimate Nissa, then then their lands are indestructible. Let's cast this again before these lands get indestructible. Come on, tick up. Tick up. Don't... Don't minus eight. You don't need to do that. Darn. The land bestows opportunity for those who are worthy. Well, yeah, they, they can't play a second Nissa right now because they only have two mana. And now I'll have negates available. It's like, we still are, are doing, like, we're doing awesome here. Now we get to just hold up these negates. They need Hydroid Crisis, but they didn't have Hydroid Crisis that whole time. Um... If I play Ram, let's see, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So they cannot steal two Rams and counter a negate. So they, they can't mass manipulation for two. And oh, wait, yes, they can. Wait, I just counted that out and they could. They had two mana still. I was, I was going to say they couldn't counter two negates, but I'm not holding up two negates right now. I'm only holding up one negate. Nope, not you. Sit down.
Hmm. Yeah, we're one land short. And I I can't I can't grow spiral and get a gate, which is what we need a gate, and then also mass manipulation. So I think I'm actually just supposed to hold up negate, double grow spiral, untap with manipulation available. Ugh. It's annoying. What? What? Then just take like a a, a, a gatebreaker ram. Still no gates. All right, so this is lethal if we draw a gate. Out of these two draws. There's no gates. Right? No, I guess it would not have been quite lethal. 20... Oh no, it wouldn't have been. We dealt 14. But whatever. I basically I just like this getting this thing out of here so they don't get to quasi duplicate. And this is fine. We have a million cards still, we're good. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. I'm going to like uh this next upcoming weekend during Black Friday, I already have kind of all the stuff picked out during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I'm going to be buying a new computer. And so then, you know, shipping and then time to put it together and stuff. So hopefully the goal is, you know, two weeks, hopefully less, but should have, you know, brand new computer that works really well and everything. And hopefully all these issues are past us. I'm really, really hoping. So yeah, I was so yeah, just gonna wait till you know, wait one week for all the sales and stuff. All right, so five and one. All right, so I have to say that I really liked this four color gates. I really liked this four color <clears throat> gates deck. I mean, this this deck feels like it's really, really well positioned right now. Ooh, victory fanfare. So yeah, this this seems like it's really well set up right now. Um, the aggro decks, like we you know we played against a couple of like the sacrifice decks, and we just got to go much bigger than them. These. These three mana sweepers with Gates of Blaze and Clarion, obviously, especially Gates of Blaze, but both of them are really good. Uh, Clarion Lifelink was awesome with Gatebreaker Ram. Archway Angel with that extra life, too. So, like, against the aggro decks, we were really good. 
And then against control decks, you know, Fires of Invention is the, the biggest control deck right now. And that, that matchup felt pretty good because we have such lifelink and we have even bigger creatures than their, you know, red and blue and red Cavaliers and um, Kenrith and everything. We're just going bigger than that. Guild Summit, Circuitous Route are awesome. They're really good. The only times we were losing is when we didn't have lands. When we, when we couldn't hit land drops, We that's the only times we were losing. And so it, it does feel like, I think, like, it kind of feels like Shimmer Possibility is just unnecessary. I understand, like, what, getting, like, another two drop, like, another thing to play on turn two. But it did just feel unnecessary. I kind of wouldn't mind getting rid of the Shimmer and getting a 28th land in here. Because that's, that's all that we struggled with was... Like, if we didn't have land. A Planeswalker version of Fires? Yeah, not many. I just, we're not really, I don't really see people playing a Planeswalker deck of version of Fires right now. Pe like, the last, like, five or six times I've played against Fires, it's been the Cavalier version. Um, it's, you know, so it's been, like, a week since I've seen anybody playing that. But if we would play against it, we would be worse. Like, our deck's not very good against Planeswalkers. Uh, we talked about that at the beginning. Planeswalkers are a problem. But there just aren't very many planeswalkers around right now. I don't know. I don't know what the twenty eighth land is supposed to be. I don't know. Do we get? Oh, probably another plaza. There we go. Boom! Another plaza. That th three life from plaza can can be important. No, we do not want green cavalier. No, you don't. You don't want to mill four in this deck. You don't, you don't want Green Cavalier. So yeah, I like I like getting that 28th land in here. That's Those are the only ways we were losing was not having lands. Like our, our one loss is because, you know, we kept a two lander and didn't couldn't draw lands. And then, you know, we just had like no lands and had to mulligan down to five and couldn't play spells still. Um... But yeah, that's that's what like our, our sideboard manipulations are for the Planeswalker decks, and usually shifting Ceratops is good against those. Same with Niv-Mizzet, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I liked our sideboard. I, I think I think I liked this list. I think this, I think that's the only like change to make. Get this get this twenty eighth land in here. Make sure you can hit your land drops. And I'll get back to the normal stream playlist here. Um, I don't think you really need to clear the mind. The only the only time a, a clear the mind matters is after you've already, you know, it's it's of course after you've already drawn like through your whole deck. And if you've drawn through your whole deck and you can't kill your opponent, then oh, well, you lose kind of thing. Um, I just think there's going to just be a lot of times where you just have like a clear the mind that you just never want to cast and you're actually, you know, when you're actually trying to win and it's not going to be worth it. The The very small amount of games that you actually would want to clear the mind which by the way wasn't really any of those that we we played because there was the one that a clear the mind would have been nice the one that we almost milled out that we got down to three cards but you know we still found a way to win it's if you get through all of your your whole deck like that you should probably be able to find a way to win okay um but there we go so that's uh um, by the time you cast Archway Angel, you already lost to aggro? Really? I don't know. We 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 got down to, like, one life against aggro earlier, played Archway Angel, and they attacked us down some more. We played another one. They attacked us down some more. We played another one, and and the game was over, and we won. Archway Angel. Archway Angel was really good for us. It, it really helped us out against the Jeskai Fires deck, too, like, with their... Um, big Cavaliers attack and everything. It was a good card. <laughs> yeah, this this is Kendis here. Yeah, this is a, this is a really good deck. So yeah, thanks Kendis for this donation deck here. All right, uh, for those of you on YouTube, uh, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there, sub, and uh, don't forget to leave comments. Uh, if you're trying out four color gates right now, let me know how it's going. Because yeah, I really like how this deck's positioned in the current meta game for what we're playing against. It seems like it it's working pretty well. So yeah, if you're playing it over in the comments. Let me know how it's going for you there also. Um, and Titus says they, that they're playing the deck right now. It looks so fun, and it is. I like it a lot. Awesome. Awesome. 
All right, uh, I guess the last thing is, of course, uh, check out the Patreon page where uh, if you like my videos, want to help support over there, it's just $3 a month. Um, it's free to sign up, but it's $3 a month, the first of the month. And I'm writing articles over there. Um, so if you want like my thoughts on standard, historic, that kind of stuff, uh, every couple of days writing stuff over there. So check that out. Uh, there's a link down below if you're watching on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching some Four Color Gates, and I'll see you for the next video.